Hello, it's me back with more makeup treats. Do you know how last time I showed you the pink one? Well, I had ordered a couple more items and I got the blue one. So the only difference is, is the mirror matches the case on the blue and these match. On the pink one, it's pink. So I thought this was kind of nice. This is Alta Beauty. My next, I had ordered and showed you guys out of Macy's the Lash Out Loud, which is black with the pink on the inside. Well, <laughs> I ordered some more Lancome. And I ended up with the pink one anyways. So this is what the pink one looks like. It says wink and makeup. And when you open this up, it's reverse. It's the black on the inside. These are really nice gifts though. I think the only difference was you could choose different eyeshadows and um I think they had like a facelift or cream or something, but they were out of it. So I pretty much get the same thing I got with the first one, except the eyeshadow colors is different. The eyeshadow color, you can pick them to be different. The one that came with the black one was warm tones. And the one with the pink one is pink. So that was the only difference between the two. But still, nice to set. Then, I already tried one of these products because I had to send back one item because I didn't like it, which was an eyebrow. It's having such a hard time finding eyebrow stuff. But I am very impressed with the Lancome matches to my foundation, which this is another buff. I really like this. This is the concealer that goes with it. So I have, um, this is a light buff. Where my other one, I think my foundation is a buff 220. But they go very good together. And then the powder... I've used both of them because I always give everything a try. So I haven't done reviews on these yet because I wanted to. That was nice. To put them all together. Excuse me. For being messy. This is actually the powder. And the casing is very nice that goes with it. And you also get a sponge which I've used. Now that I've dropped it, thank God it didn't break the case. I'm like fumble fingers. So there's the match to that. So some new products I have and I haven't got to try yet. Because I'm still practicing with things I have not used yet makeup wise. And I am fascinated with the Lancome line just because I try to get a full makeup thing out of everything. This is the Ulta, though. Um, you have a felt tip liner that goes with eyeliner. And then you have a cream eyeshadow, which some people don't like these, but I tend to think they're very nice. I even like the one from e.l.f. The only difference from the e.l.f. That I didn't like was the packaging of the eyeshadow matches the primer so you have to be really careful when you go to open it <laughs> I have mine separated so I know the difference boxy charm was really good this month um, I didn't open mine for an unboxing yet this here you get ten dollars off of a tart if it's sixty dollars you get a coupon in it um, you get pure, I'm not into eyelashes, so that'll probably go in a giveaway. Um, 
this is actually a color that I've been nibbing. I did nib into this. That I will use because I love the packaging as far as the lips are concerned. <laughs> and this looks like a color that I will use. They are so worth it. I mean, just this brush set alone is $26. So, you know, you pay $21 a month for this and you get so many products. This is funny. I'm going to save this to last. So anyway, you get a waterproof eyeliner, which is $15, by Bella Pierre. Uh, this lip stick is by the Beauty Crop. It's $14.95 is what it retails for. The eyelashes are $14. And I know for a fact this is $36, at least the first one was, because now I own both. Um, Tard and I don't have a good <laughs> blending history, but I do like to dab their eyeshadow on I hear this one's better but I did it with my fingers because the first one I couldn't get to blend out so I don't know if this is going to be any different I'll know when I go to check it out um, this is interesting <laughs> that I would get these brushes and you have a pointed blush brush you get a chisel and you get a crease open they have really interesting handles on them I'm not going to open them up right now this looks interesting I'm, I'm really into the little brushes for some reason way more than the bigger brushes I don't know why that is but the reason why this is interesting is because of the next box. I actually seen these online. And I find this very interesting. <laughs> Just look what I bought. <laughs> this is the Moda Blue. I just, I showed these, I think, in a video before, but I never took them out of the package. I haven't used them yet because I want to wash them. And I just haven't had time to do it yet. I just think these are absolutely beautiful. This is the case that you get to keep them in. Whoops, upside down. Which I think is extremely cute. Um, my favorite color is blue, and I'm going to have so much fun with these brushes. I just think, I, I just, they're adorable. I have a thing with color. So, once these are cleaned and all that happy stuff, I'll be able to actually try these out, but I just wanted to show you what they look like without, and I just, I love blue. To me, blue is just the ocean, the sky. Just everything about the color blue. It's pretty much been my favorite color my whole life. I think I did go through one purple phase when I was like in grade school, but blue's been with me the most. Then this, oh, this was to me like the Morphe palette. I seen these, posted these on my wish list, and finally was able to get them. And I am just ecstatic to share this with you guys. This is the case it comes in. And you pop it open on the sides. And this Rose Chrome Dream. These are like my dream brushes from Morphe. I just think these are absolutely beautiful. There's only been three colors that I've absolutely loved. The other one's yet to come in. And then I'm pretty much done with my brushes. And I do like the elf ones in the Wet n Wild. There's certain ones, but there's something about certain colors. And I like these because none of them are real bushy. And plus you have a container to keep them in. And I just, I'm ecstatic about this.
So this is my haul for right now. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. So stay tuned. I will be right back with something great coming up. So I'll see you in a few. Bye.